Hey everybody, we're here, um, picking mom up some dinner, and then I'm gonna go see God's Not Dead in God We Trust, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and read some, our Psalms while we are waiting, and we will start, of course, by praying, Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we get to spend with you within your word, Lord. We praise you, we honor you. Tomorrow's our church services, Lord, at all of our different places. And we just pray for you to just to be there and for it to be a spirit-filled service. And if there's anybody that doesn't know you as their Lord and Savior, Lord, or if there's anybody there who has not been born again, Father God, please just work on them, Lord. Be with them and just guide them. Your if your will be done in the situation, Lord. If there's anybody there who may have walked an aisle, signed a card, and said a prayer, but they never had any change, Lord. If there's anybody there who's almost saved, Lord, we pray that they become truly saved and born again. We love you, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We pray for our country as our country needs you now, Lord with everything going on and we just we just can't thank you enough Lord for all that you do for us Father God I, I do pray for my cousin Brian Lord watch out for him you know all of the the things he asked us to pray for I won't name them individually as this is going up on YouTube but your will be done Lord we love you and we thank you we praise you we honor you in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right, let's get to it. Chapter 7. It's bright enough today, ain't it? Uh, the caption above uh, Psalm 7. A meditation of David which he sang to the Lord concerning the words of Cush, a Benjamite. O oh Lord my God, in you I put my trust. Save me from all those who persecute me and deliver me. Lest they tear me like a lion, ridding me in pieces while there is none to deliver. O oh Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is iniquity in my hands, if I have repaid evil to him who was at peace with me, or have plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue me and overtake me. Yes, let him trample my life to the earth. And lay my honor in the dust, said I. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up because of the rage of my enemies. Rise up for me to the judgment you have commanded. So the congregation of the people shall surround you. For their sakes, therefore, return on high. The Lord shall judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity within me. O let the wickedness of the wicked Come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous. God tests the hearts and minds. My defense is of God who saves the upright in heart. God is a just judge, and God is angry with the wicked. Every day, if he does not turn back, he will sharpen his sword. He bends his bow and makes it ready. He also prepares himself instruments of death. He makes his arrows into fiery shafts. Behold, the wicked brings forth iniquity. Yes, he conceives trouble and brings forth falsehood. He made a pit and dug it out and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His trouble shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down on his own crown. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord most high. Psalms 7. Let's go ahead and do Psalms 8. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants you have ordained strength because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? 
For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Psalm 8. We'll move on to Psalm 9 here. It says, To the chief musician, to the tune of Death of the Son, a psalm of David. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell you, or I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne, judging in righteousness. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. O enemy, destructions are finished forever. And you have destroyed cities. Even their memory has perished. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the world in righteousness. And he shall administer judgment for the people's in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble, and those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare the deeds among the people. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the humble. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my troubles from those who hate me, you who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell of all your praise in the gates of the daughters of Zion. I will rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit, which they made in the net which they hid. Their own foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment he executes. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Meditation, Selah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. That is chapter 9, or Psalm 9. And it is about two minutes till our food is to be ready. I was going to go through the drive through but it's backed up. So I'm just going to walk up to the counter and get it. But I thank you all for just joining me while we do this. And God bless you all. And uh, if you haven't yet, check out the uh, I'm Tired of Running series I'm doing where I'm reading the book that my friend wrote. So I think you'll thoroughly enjoy that. It's based off of the prodigal son or son's story. And also, there will, I'm going to have a second channel coming soon. Uh, it's our, The channel's up, but I don't have any content on it yet. It's called uh, Praise Him AFR. It's going to be because I'm wanting to set up events where we just gather as the body of believers, not as individual churches, but as the body of Christ and his bride and we get together and we just praise him and worship him we'll sing praise music we'll sing traditional hymn music we just do it for him so uh, i'm just getting that ready and we'll, we'll put it on the live stream and we'll announce it but i just wanted to let you all know about that um and i'm gonna get a few friends to sing a song each and then i'll compile it together and then i will do the video and I may even do a video here on this channel where you're watching that video to direct you over there to that channel. So, or I might just put that channel's um, address somehow in the video or in the description box of one of these. So, I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see you tomorrow for 10, 11, and 12 at least.